Hello. Hi, Sonia. Hi. How are you? How's going in Barcelona? Uh, I can't complain. Can't complain. We had a bit of rain uh, this weekend, unfortunately. Um, but now the sun is back. It's uh, almost a bit of a springy vibe, and I'm really looking forward to the summer. Uh, how's everything down there in in here Murcia? Too. Here too. So I think everything is okay now. You can see me. You can hear me very well. Yeah. No. Perfect. And I also can see uh, the magnificent banner behind you about uh, you. <laughs> It's learn you live. So basically, we are going to talk about the the University of uh, um, San Antonio of Murcia, which is located, of course, in Murcia. Uh, the main campus is uh, in Murcia, close by the center of uh, the city, and also for another campus that is located also in Cartagena. We have some courses, some programs, let's say. Um, in Cartagena, but in the majority in the campus of Murcia. Plus, we have some masters in uh, in Madrid. Um, majority in sports, of course, the master of uh, MBA sports, uh, sports marketing, that is also located in Madrid, close by the um, uh, sports sectors in Madrid, let's mm -hmm. say. And uh, okay. it's been really like a lot in the last two years. Uh, we had the agreement with the Barcelona uh, team, so uh, the students who are studying at our university in case for a sport programs, uh, they have the license as a certificate um, from the School of Barca too. Okay. okay. Uh, really, really valuable. Um, but yeah, Sonia, thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy day today. Um, for those of you who don't know, Sonia is the uh, enrollment and uh, marketing manager of uh, UCAM with uh, multiple campuses around Spain. Uh, today's conversation will be a live uh, between Sonia and me and uh, I encourage you to ask all the questions in the chat and we will try to answer as many of them as possible. Um, as most of you probably know, UCAM is one of the biggest private universities in Spain with multiple programs that are very attractive uh, for people who want to study in English or in Spanish. Uh, today's session is going to be more about the bachelor programs in English, but please, on a side note, there's also many master and PhD programs available. So if you're interested in that, uh, please don't hesitate to ask Sonia and, and myself. Um, maybe quickly about LEAP. So we are based in Barcelona and we support international students uh, with all kinds of services from uh, program selection, admission to universities, uh, especially UCAM, uh, the visa process itself and everything else that a student might need uh, when they want to come here. Okay. Um, Sonia, so uh, what, you want to give a, a quick introduction of what you do at UCAM? Sure, definitely. Okay. So, you know, UCAM University is um, created at the, on the year of 1996. So it's uh, at the same time young, but it's quite a fast uh, grow up a university in Spain. We have a part of the Spanish programs that we have in all of the sciences for the health science, sports science, social science, briefly in the website of the university, uh, we mention all of them. And also, um, what else? A sports science too. And for the English, uh, we cover some of the programs uh, in each uh, sciences. For example, uh, in case of bachelor studies, we have in English and in Spanish, majority in Spanish, of course, because the university is Spanish. But for the English programs, we have um, a dentistry in English, uh, pharmacy, psychology, um, for uh, sport, we have physical activity and sports science, which is basically sports science. It's not just um, um, the sport activity is quite well. I will explain later on how you can study after the sports science. Uh, that is the main subject, actually, in the UCAM University, because UCAM is a sport university. A part of being, uh, I mean, uh, more strong for the uh, for the health sciences, and also we have a social science like um, tourism, uh, business administration, 
for these uh, courses. Um, if I'm not forgot, I said or not, we have also the Bachelor of Psychology. So dentistry, pharmacy, psychology in the health part that we have uh, the majority of students also for the business and sport for the bachelor. Mm -hmm. um, those students that they have good knowledge of English, uh, minimum B2 level, uh, they can easily have access without entrance exam. We are just uh, checking the transcripts, the notes of the high school and uh, doing some interviews. So uh, definitely there is no any exam uh, in order to study. At UCAN, mm -hmm. um, in case of the English programs, and um, you know, we have a lot of... Um, branches or the uh, bachelors and masters in Spanish too, uh, for example, for gastronomy in Spanish, um, all of the um, programs that I mentioned in English also we have in um, Spanish um, added uh, like journalism, like uh, nutrition, like uh, food sciences, like um, uh, biology. So these um, programs for the um, social science um, can be also the business, um, marketing, um, communications, these options. For the Spanish programs, of course, also we are offering for those students that they are interested to study, but uh, having a good knowledge of Spanish because they are coming to study in Spanish with other Spanish universities. So it's better to have come, I mean, some um, mm -hmm. Spanish. But there is no any problem for those students that they don't have um, Spanish level. We are also offering some uh, courses, intensive course. Um, we, we call it preparation course of the Spanish program uh, for almost one year, one academic year. So they can learn uh, from the basic level up to B2 level and quite prepare for the Spanish programs. So, yeah. Okay. Sounds, sounds really tempting. So for also for the people who are uh, not ready yet to start something in, in Spanish or in English, there's preparation courses for the language. So then after one year, you can, you can access the course. Yeah. Um, and Sonia, we are already getting uh, quite a lot of questions here. Um, I'm just going to address a few of them because yeah. otherwise they're going to pile up. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, do you require uh, IELTS or TOEFL? Um, or which kind of English certificates do you require in order to join? Yeah, basically we are um, asking official uh, language certificate. What does it mean? Any of program on any of certificate like IELTS, TOEFL, Duolingo also we are accepting for some cases. Um, there is no any problem. But for the student who studied in the international schools, there is no any problem if they have a proof of the school they did everything in the school, 100% uh, in English, we can accept also the English certificate. But yes, as I mentioned, we are asking uh, any type of official one between these three. I think also a tip from my side, like um, you should be comfortable in the language if you want to study a whole, I mean, it's a university program. So the, the level of English there is, would be kind of advanced. So like we usually recommend a minimum level of B2 yeah. which is like more than conversational, like you can have in-depth conversations in, in another language. Um, and I think, Sonia, maybe you agree with me, that would be a good level to study um, at UCAM as well. Of course, Tom, I don't know why, but students are thinking always, okay, so we are going to Spain, it means that uh, maybe no need to have the English certificate. Of course, yes, you are coming to study official uh, degrees. So based on the Ministry of Education uh, recommendation, or let's say obligation for all of the students who are coming to study in English, we are asking for uh, B2 level of English as a minimum level. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Yeah, yeah, many, many. So uh, Nader uh, Almazri, I hope I pronounced it right, uh, he's looking to study uh, dentistry in English. And I think this is one of the programs uh, that is particularly interesting in UCAM, correct? Where do you offer that? Is that only in Murcia? Uh, yeah, we have um, 
in Murcia, uh, definitely for the campus of Murcia, but, and we recently opened, like last year, uh, we opened uh, the dentistry in English in the campus of Cartagena. So those who are coming to study, very welcome. They can choose. Murcia has own um, options or points in order to live. It's more populated. It's um, like central of the region, but also Cartagena has other points like is the coast city you have um, um beach at b side the weather is quite also um very well and definitely um so you can reach easily uh the beach uh the prices are a bit um different not that much but uh wherever they want of course the campus of murcia is always getting full immediately because of the capacity and high demand uh, for the dentistry in english but also cartagena too so there is no any um i mean they need to apply as as soon as um right i mean at the moment i mean there's a really high demand uh for the course of dentistry in english because it's very scarcely available here in spain i mean the official language is Spanish. So um, it's already quite something that this course is, is offered in, in English. So better be quick if you want to apply. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's the point here. Um, okay, we have uh, another question here from uh, Ruat. Uh, is there a registration fee for UCAM in Murcia? Uh, yes, uh, we call it application fee. So we are um, going to receive your documents, record documents. We'll check and do the interview. Um, so let's say uh, this is the part of the admission process having the application fee too. But what we are doing is that we are checking all of the documents and then um, organizing and Skype or Google Meet, any online video call uh, in order to do, to do the interview, to check the level of the students, to see the motivation of the students who are coming to study here. And then, yes, we are asking for the application fee. Um, and then um, by pay of the application fee, we are going to be sure or um, let's say we draw the application based on the, the request. So, yeah, we have it. Okay, okay, that's, that's understood. And Anushri wants to know, is there an entrance exam for the dentistry program? No, no. As I mentioned, we don't have any interest exam. What we are doing is checking all of the uh, high school backgrounds, like the notes spe specifically for the majors of the mathematics, physics, chemistry, and um, biology, in order to see if the student has a good um, grade or notes in these cases. And then um, passing the interview, definitely. And later on, um, having approval from the Faculty of Dentistry. So all of the students need to pass uh, the faculty selection for the dentistry. So there is no any interest exam for that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have like a percentage? Like, would you say um, uh, like a percentage of acceptance rate? Um, let's say uh, from the beginning, if uh, we receive the student that they don't have enough uh, level of these grades as i mentioned for these um, courses um, at the beginning we are rejecting so we are not passing for the selection but some students are like exceptional because they have a good background like the family are um, med i mean dentists or coming from the medical um, background so there are some exceptional but depends on the student too so we are going to check both of the sides to be balanced for the selection. Mm -hmm. uh, to give you the percentage, uh, let's say uh, we are not accepting all of the students, of course, but uh, let's say more than 50 students that they are really, really good background is going to mm -hmm. be eligible to be in the campuses to study. There's no any problem. Mm -hmm. That's great to hear. Um, and then here we have another question from David. Uh, he says, I'm a foreign student. Do I have to do the EBAO for the admission or can I do the PCE test instead? Um, I'm, I'm going to answer that one. So uh, EBAO and, and PCE exams are to enter public universities. And as far as I understood uh, for UCAM, is, uh, it's not necessary. And there, are, there is an exception, Tom. Uh, why? Because for those students who are coming to study uh, medicine, 
that we are offering just uh, in Spanish uh, version for just only medicine, we are asking for um, selectividad or for, P I mean, unit um, PCA or PCE exam as an entrance exam. For the rest, if they are like an international student, there is no need because we are checking the, the high school. Yeah. I mean, this is great to understand because um, truth be told, we're getting also like a lot of people who come here want to study in public universities as well. And of course, if you want to study an English undergraduate program, it's a huge hiccup if you have to learn the local language first and then pass these exams. Um, but it's great that there are um, top universities like, like UCAM in Spain where you don't have to do this kind of test. So, um, yeah, let's, let's be thankful for that. Um, we have another question here. So uh, Bambi wants to know which kind of facilities are offered in UCAM? Okay. Um, the facilities, uh, what we have, uh, we have different rooms, let's say, for um, different studies. For example, we have um, the lab specifically for the pharmacy um, students. We have the uh, med medicine table, which is like a digital table for the students of the medicine, nursing, also for um, psychology students. Uh, we have physiotherapy in, uh, in Spanish. So we have the rooms of um, physiotherapy in order to practicing for the physiotherapy. Uh, also, we have physiotherapy in both campuses, in Murcia and also in Cartagena. But uh, the language of uh, physiotherapy is in, in Spanish. Uh, we have um, the studio, we have TV Popular inside of the university for those students who are coming to study journalism or uh, media because we have also these uh, majors in Spanish. We have dental clinic in the center of Murcia, in the center of Cartagena for the students who are studying uh, dentistry in order to practice uh, the, the stuff. We have the uh, simulation room for the student of the medicine, pharmacy, also for the nursing in the majority, because we have a nursing um, bachelor in, in so Spanish. What do they simulate exactly? A simulation is like a body, like a plastic body that has all of the organs of the human. So uh, the, the student need to uh, do some medications or like um, use the medicine. Sometimes the heart is beating, so it's the pressure is going on up. It's exactly like ICU uh, room or uh, let's say the hospital simulation um, room. So it's included the body, even pregnant uh, woman. So it's like uh, checking all of the, uh, the cases. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that's really exciting. So it's, it's kind of like a real environment. So the reality also the the students are going to pass the exams, uh, especially for nursing, because they need to check everything. Um, so it's better to from the beginning, they are involved with this uh, simulation room to check uh, mm -hmm. how is the patient, uh, the pressure, blood, uh, heart beating, so everything. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow, that's, that's great. So uh, a lot of different facilities, um, as you mentioned. Sorry? sorry. Uh, the last uh, facility, sorry, uh, Tom, for interruption. Uh, we have the uh, UCAM um, Sports Center that is open for all of the students of the UCAM if they want to um, join and practicing, do any uh, gym, I mean sport inside of the university, they can uh, go for the first year students, uh, for the first year international students, it's going to be free of charge. So for one academic year, they can use that gym and participate to some um, you can basketball matches or football matches also for free. Hope so. Uh, for the next academic year, we have less uh, crisis. I mean, less limitation for the COVID nineteen. But in some um, uh, matches, the student can also uh, participate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that I really wanted to highlight because that's something super unique. You you guys have a lot of different sports teams as well, right? Like like football, basketball. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, basketball, basically in the first division of La Liga, like um, Real Madrid and Barcelona, so they have really, really good. Um, maybe there is a question for the students uh, that, okay, the UK University is a sport university, so am I able to also practice any sports related uh, to the sport that UK is following? Uh, the answer is yes, but depends on your, um, your skill. Um, if you are a good um, sport or athletics, definitely we are offering you a different um, range of age, uh, different um, groups of the students in order to join for the UCAM. Uh, football or basketball. Plus, uh, for example, if UCAM doesn't have any of uh, these um, main sports, still we have lots of clubs, sportive clubs, um, having agreements with the university that uh, in the majority, the professors and the professional also professors, um, they have connection. We can recommend to the students in order to join for the specific sport that they are looking for. So, yeah. Okay. So sports is written uh, with a capital S at uh, UCOM. That's good. Um, so there's another question here from Haskari. Um, is there any help with visa? Uh, so like from, from our side, I would like to, to help answer this question. So like since we're, um, you know, an official partner of, of UCOM, we will uh, help you to guide all the process. So like from UCOM side, you will then receive um, an invitation letter and an admission letter. Um, that will be shipped to your home country. And once you have the certificate, LEAP can help you to gather all the other documents, make an appointment at the embassy, um, kind of structure the, the interview if there is one, and uh, we can make sure that you arrive here in time and you can, you can start your course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I want to consider, uh, Tom, this case as that um, in the majority, the courses and the programs that we are offering for the U UCAM University are official um, um, programs. It means that it is recognized by the Ministry of Education in Spain. So definitely all of the embassies are considering the courses or the programs that the students are um, choosing in order to come. That is really important. Um, this is a really, really important because, you know, uh, there are lots of institutions uh, that they are also offering some similar programs, but maybe uh, not recognized by the Ministry of Education. So we have this advantage uh, in order to offer to the students official programs in the majority of the programs in, in, at UCAM. So it means officially accredited. That also means like if the student wants to study a master, let's say afterwards, um, he can easily do so in his home country. Exactly. Master or even PhD. I said in the majority, uh, let's say 90% uh, of the programs that we are offering um, are official. It means that recognized by the Ministry of Education. Then uh, following the Bologna system, which is the one of the, uh, the main and uh, more, more important um, uh, educational system in Europe. Um, and also because, you know, we are receiving lots of European students coming from the north of Europe uh, in order to continue to, the studies. As soon as they are finishing, it, the certificate is valuable when they are coming back to the country easily with a small homologation in the Ministry of Education, they can go through the future career, so there is no any problem. So imagine if you want to come to uh, UCAM University that is recognized by the Ministry. Later on, um, if you want to continue the studies in Spain, definitely you can. Outside of the uh, European Union also still is uh, valuable and it's official to continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great to understand. Maybe just um, as an additional information, so like, let's say you're from the United States and you come to Spain to study, like you, and then you want to do your master's afterwards in a different country, like you always need to legalize your studies. And the same thing, like in the country where you want to study. And the same thing applies, you'd like if you want to study an undergrad program at UCAM, you need to legalize your high school studies because you didn't study in Spain. So there's an equivalency process uh, through the embassy and you need to legalize them in Spain in order to get accepted. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I think there was also a question here from, uh, from Pancho. He wanted to know, uh, ¿Puedo validar mi título allá si estoy recibido en Argentina? 
Um, maybe just to, to translate the question. So should I validate my diploma in Spain if I received it in Argentina? Okay, yes. So, uh, I answer in Spanish or in English? Um, okay, I will do both. Uh, actually, yes, for those students, um, if you want to come for the bachelor studies, you need, or also master studies, you need to do the legalization and then homologation. So for the bachelor studies, um, I'm telling outside of the European Union countries because for the European countries, it's different completely. So in fact, is that, uh, or you need to do the um, homologation. It means that like make it uh, equivalency. Some embassies outside of the um, European Union are doing also the, the process of the homologation. Uh, you need to ask the embassy of Spain for sure. But for the legalization of your studies, some countries are under apostyle agreement. Okay, so, or you can have the apostyle or doing the legalization, which is the stamp of the uh, embassy of Spain in your country. So, for example, for um, the país um, Argentina, necesita legalizar uh, en la embajada de España. Así que si no estáis en el uh, en la lista de apostil, tienes que hacer la legalización, ¿vale? Okay. So, I think it's going to be. Uh, I, I hope you heard it. Um, okay, great. So legalization is a topic, um, but only after the admission itself. So like before, uh, UCAM luckily has an internal uh, credit, well, recognition department, so they can tell if you're going to be accepted or not. And once you're accepted, then we can do the legalization. Exactly. Yeah. Oh wow, so many, so many questions here. Um, I want to apply for this year for a doctorate program of sports science. Uh, Sonia, when would be when would be a good moment for um, Mustafa to start? Okay, at the moment the prescription, like uh, do registration online, is open for the PhD. Actually, for all of the programs, for the bachelor's, master's, and also PhD is open. But we have some deadline for uh, each of them. And definitely for the PhD, for the doctorate, uh, we have till end of April. So it's better to be uh, run for, uh, for the PhD. But the rest of the programs still um, in the majority mid of August, still we have uh, opportunity for do the prescription. Again, depends on the major that you want to study. For example, if you want to come to study dentistry, it's going to be so um, fast um, occupied, the places. So it's better to be more faster. But for the other course, it depends. You need to just contact us, um, contact Tom, definitely, that is in touch with us um, in order to be on time for the application, for sure. Okay. So, yeah, Mustafa, end of April is your date. So, uh, better move quick. You've got like, um, what are you add? Today's the 12th. So, you have approximately three weeks left. Yeah, yeah. 